Hey you, over there, wake up, come on, do you want Jesugang? Yeah you. F grade? That's right, you want an A plus. Yeah, you want to get a great grade. Are you ready to study about Fraser? Fraser, you want that Jesugang? Oh, that's right, let's study about you, Jim Fraser. Yeah, let's go, let's get ready to study. With the good kitties together, Howie everyone and welcome to today's introduction to Fraser. I'm really sorry to be making this video. Um, so please bear with me. Uh, I'm very shy, so I don't want to be making an introduction to Fraser, but I'll let you know who I am. And if you're not my student and you're just watching this casually, you can find out about me. 안녕하세요. 저는 Fraser입니다. Hey everyone. So my name, my name is Fraser William Johnston Theesby. So you can see it's a little long. Uh, my name Fraser actually comes from French and it's uh, found in Scotland, this name, and it's related to Fres, the history of the name. So it means strawberry. So I'm strawberry Fraser. So I'm strawberry teacher. So my name means strawberry because the red color was associated with people with red hair. And uh, that's what I heard, the story. Uh, William is my grandfather's name, so in the UK we passed down our names. Uh, and finally, Johnston Theesby is my family name. Uh, Johnston from my uh, grandfather, Theesby from my grandmother, and mixed together. My family is from England. Uh, I'm English or British. As I told you, I'm from the UK, uh, from a town called Scarborough. and. Korea looks a little bit like England, so here Brighton is like Busan, London is Daegu, or you know, over here is like Incheon, and then Isle of Man is Gangwado, so I guess here is like DMZ and Scotland is North Korea, so 조심해야지. Uh, but you can see I'm actually from this area which is similar to Gangwondo, so I'm from Scarborough, which is a very small town, uh, there's not much happening. The second place that is the place where I live now is actually near to Cambridge. So I guess I'm, you know, close to Daegu in this way. But I'm from a town near Bury St. Edmunds and I actually live in a small village and it's really small. This is Scarborough. And as I said, Scarborough is like Donghae, like Donghae-si. So we have Mangsan here, the beach. We have the harbor, like Mukho Harbor. We have Donghae Hilton. Uh, we have a castle, so there is a lot of things uh, in here, but young people don't want to stay. Young people want to go to London, L uh, young people just want to get away. So a lot of people move away, so most of my friends live in London or big cities nearer to where I live. So it's a better place to be, not the countryside in the UK. I live in Bury St. Edmunds now, and Bury St. Edmunds is a beautiful town. Here is the cathedral it looks very beautiful with the gardens and there's lots of castles and forts like 500 600 years old um, a lot of these places have not been touched and still look very nice in the east of england so it's a beautiful place to live cambridge is a beautiful city i lived there for a bit um, while i studied and uh, it was great next on it says come to england the summer England is notorious for rain and gloomy days and some of my family live in Birmingham and it rains all the time. Um, but when I was at home in the UK like last summer and even this summer my mum said that it was 38 degrees. In the east of England it's really dry and many people live there because the weather is nice so it's a good place to be but it can still get cold like 9 degrees in summer. So England is really really different. It's not what you think. Some places rain every day, some places have nice weather, some places are still cold, and Scotland is always colder than you know other places, but it's really nice to be in. I hate hot and humid weather, so I had a really bad summer because I was here, uh, but I love the spring and fall in Korea, and the spring and fall in England is beautiful too. Lots of flowers, uh, lots of baby animals, you know, it's just a lot of you know new life, so it's really nice. Now this picture over here kind of explains England. We're crazy. English people are strange, okay? In November it's 15 and we'll be like, oh, chua, chua, so cold. But then in April, same temperature, 
shorts and t-shirt or maybe no t-shirt just you know like getting a suntan english people are crazy when it comes to the weather you can always talk about the weather with english people it's a good icebreaker famous foods english people love cake i love cake too sandwiches we love sandwiches we love fish and chips we love meat and vegetables and we love this one what is it that's right it's not sunday that's right it's black pudding and black pudding is like a breakfast food especially when you're hungover like drink too much alcohol you drink lots of soju this is good for it english food's not healthy and in europe it's like probably the worst food people will say like oh english food is terrible but we have lots of good restaurants in the uk and we can eat lots of world's food so don't worry as i say i always eat breakfast like pancakes for breakfast is great cake a day without cake is a mistake like really this is fish and chips and we always drink beer okay so english people always drink beer fish chips mushy peas and beer is a great combination to have so if you ever have the chance go to a pub and have beer fish and chips you'll love it it's amazing english people love pie so this is apple pie and cream so like you know we can have you know sweet pie but we can also have meat pie and beef pie is great fish pie great so maybe you think like oh fish pie oh degu like degu the fish pie oh terrible no it's really nice don't be don't be shy try it so this is my hometown there's nothing here it's empty it's the countryside i think there where i live there's maybe 20 houses maybe 30 houses and uh, i can go days without seeing people i can just see deer cows horses you know uh, lambs sheep yeah they're my friends i'm asa so i live in the countryside there's not a lot there and this house is traditional style uh, you can see here it's got like a thatched roof and that's a traditional like old style house my family so many people ask about my family there's only three people in my family my mom as you can see my mom and i look very similar right a little bit similar the next one is my sister crazy super smart crazy face so I always say, you know, like, oh, my sister and I don't look the same. So we don't look the same. And then D4. D4 is the dog in my family. And uh, obviously snow is in every picture because it makes us all cute. But D4 is a stupid dog, doesn't listen to me, but I love D4. She's a good girl. Now, Fraser is a younger boy. As you can see here, this is me and my sister when we were younger. Uh, who's older? You better have said Faye. My sister's name is Faye. And she's older than me by a year and a half. Uh, we're close, so we grew up together. You can see our hair color is similar. My sister has one blue eye, one green eye. But my color is just bluey green mixed together. Maybe you can't see on camera, but that's my eye color. Uh, my sister is super smart. She's a science doctor. Uh, she studied astrophysics and nuclear physics, so super smart. I'm not smart. Empty brain. Key point. I'm a Manchester United fan. Remember that. Don't forget. I'm a Man U fan. So if you, uh, you know, like football, you can talk to me anytime. Uh, Man U, Mengu, Hing. Anyway. Moving along, here is Fraser when I was young. As you can see, my hair color is like a reddy color, like strawberry. So in English, we call this dirty blonde or strawberry blonde. That's the name. But when I was a real baby, like, you know, young, you can see Kiyomi Fraser over there. Kiyomi, not now. Cute. When I was young, uh, I had really red hair. And it's ginger or strawberry blonde hair. Or now it looks more like ash brown color. But that's my natural color. I mean, I wear a cap. I don't always wear a cap, but it's really hot. So I do now. And that's me and my sister as baby. So Faye and Fraser. My MBTI students or people ask me this all the time. I didn't have any interest, so I did the test. What do you think? 
Uh, I said it in one of my live streams. It's actually INTJA. So architects, imaginative and strategic thinkers with a plan for everything. I guess I'm Junbi man. Junbi man, always prepared. Uh, it says introverted. When I took this test because of COVID-19, uh, maybe my s score is more introverted because I stay inside all the time. Uh, I'm intuitive, thinking, judging a little bit, but I don't judge people. I judge the situation or myself a lot. So that's probably why. And I'm assertive. Um, I think English people are maybe looked at as a little bit arrogant or assertive. So maybe that's the case. I didn't know. But um, yeah, okay. Uh, next. When I moved to Korea, I actually lived in uh, Deprica. So Daegu, Deprica, super hard. It was really hard, but I considered Daegu my hometown. So hello, Daegu people. You know, 안녕하세요, Daegu 사람, hello. And I'd be like, 대단히 감사합니다. <laughs> Uh, ne, like you know the endings when people speak there's a little saturi in Daegu uh, but I really enjoyed Daegu I had a really good time so I'm really happy if you're from Daegu contact me or anytime I'm so happy uh, I lived in Incheon, Gangwon, Asan and now I live in like Gwangju and uh, Bundang area but that's it so that was me my time in Korea can I speak Korean? sure I can speak Korean 안녕하세요 저는 프레이저입니다 안녕 I can speak Korean. Uh, I try not to speak it just because uh, I'm terrible. Super low level. Bam! Now, this summer, usually I say like what I like to do, but this summer I just literally made YouTube videos for this channel just to, for fun, eating macaroon. I ate lots of cake. Dore Dore is great. Dore Dore. Um, I went, you know, traveling with my friend Chris. Uh, I went to the beach. I ate lots of donuts. It was great. Uh, I went to Seoul campus for the first time. I went to the beach a lot. So, you know, I went to different places like Yosu. Uh, and I made a, I know my videos are not good and uh, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I just do it for fun. But I did that. And I also went to Gangnam. Uh, I love Gangwon though. The East Sea is really beautiful. So I love to go to the East Sea. And uh, I you know like to swim so i exercise you know swim in the sea have fun like that so i hope i can go again and i hope i can go to busan to swim in the sea oh and there's angel fraser that was in yosu too so there we go things i like and love so i always say do you think i love kitty now you've seen my videos you know that i have couple kitty here uh, i have another kitty over here too so i actually have three kitties now uh, these Some of these are gifts that people have given me since you found out that I love kitty and I'm otaku. Hmm. But if I see kitty, I'll take a picture. Uh, Korean drivers are hard for me. I live in like near Bundang or in Bundang before, so it, Korean drivers are stressful. I love chicken and beer. Actually, I don't eat chicken and beer a lot. I actually only eat chicken and beer for um, my mukbang. So maybe, you know, unless you want to eat chicken and beer with me, like, you know, somebody suggests together, I don't usually do it. 2 a.m. cacao talk. You can cacao talk me at any time. I don't usually know that. I usually send a response. So that's why. Gifts, chocolate, coffee. Yeah, I love all of those things. But, you know, Kim, Kim Young, Ran, Bob. Best friend. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, I love traveling. I've been to like 55 different countries. Mongolia was the best place. I went to India. I don't want to put loads of pictures up, so but I have. Uh, I love food. My mukbangs were fun. I love doing them. You know, Ujam. I didn't make my name Ujam. A student made it for me. So that's why it's Ujam, I'm sure. I love people. I love to talk. So talk to me anytime you want. I love sports and exercise. When I went to Yosu, I did 24 kilometers walking in 24 hours. Uh, I love exercise, working out. Um, I love music. I love listening to all kinds of music. Uh, I love to go to the Norebang. Uh, I'm a terrible singer. Somebody will comment below and be like, Fraser's terrible. They know. Uh, but when, you know, like I was a child, I did like I was chukku zonzu, uh, rugby zonzu, boxing zonzo like these kind of things and university i was a boxer but 
I, I did singing and musical, so I like to do it, but I'm terrible at it. So I'm so sorry, no singing. Many students ask, are you married? Now, if somebody has a ring on this finger here, that usually means that they're married, so game over. So no, I'm not married. I would like to get married in the future, but not at the moment, it's a single. <laughs> uh, what's your ideal type? Now, to be honest, people like laugh and you're like, oh, what's your ideal type? Bam! My real honest answer is I don't care tall or short. I don't care fat or thin. The most important thing, and this is truthful for me, is kind and warm-hearted people. If you're a kind person and warm-hearted, it means you can connect with each other. Um, and if you talk to somebody a lot and get to know them, then you can become closer and have like a bond together. You know, ideal type, do you like coffee? Do you like cake? Me too. Do you like Noriban? Me too. Do you like traveling, looking at different things? Me too. Uh, the only thing that's maybe different is I like to exercise. So it depends if, you know, you like exercise or people like to exercise. But I like those kind of things. But if you like to eat food, if you like to, you know, do things together, that's my ideal type. Just kind, nice people. <clears throat> and a big point is age. Uh, my mom and my stepfather, the difference was 20. 20 years difference between them when they got married. So I think the person who matches with you, it doesn't matter about their age or their looks. It's really about the connection between your soul, I guess. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I'm like super romantic. Um, and it's true, it doesn't matter like the person. It matters about who you are. And I guess I do believe in like romanticism and like destiny and fate. And that, you know, there's a reason why people are put together and meet each other. And if you form a close bond with somebody, you can be together forever. I saw like a story of some couple who were married for like 74 years. Um, and the idea is just, you know, just try your best to be kind to each other, respectful. And I, I'm sure you can always find your perfect match. So, yes. Hmm. Oh, I'm super put up. <laughs> <laughs> so finally my YouTube is just for fun I'm not professional uh, the name of my subs they were asked and they call them Frabies, Fraser's Babies so Fraser's Babies I love you thank you so much um, I want to say thank you to everybody who's liked or watched the video or you know subscribed to the channel I'm not a YouTuber so I apologize um, I will be making ASMR videos and mukbang videos this semester I only work Walsugum so ha mok I can make some videos. I will do some live streaming mokbangs so that you can ask me questions anonymously. Maybe you're shy, so ask me a question. Or, or ask me anything. It's okay, I love to talk. Um, I will stop doing random. I've been doing many different kinds of video, like choo -choo -choo -choo, so many. But I'll probably just keep doing ASMR eating mokbang videos. Um, I will keep a promise. I said that if I get 2,000 subs, I will tausek my hair. So like this picture, I will make it blonde, blonde. So if we get 2,000, you don't have to tell everybody, oh, subscribe like that. Just if it happens organically, naturally, I will tausek my hair and show everybody. Um, yeah. And finally, maybe one day I'll actually buy a camera and do it properly. But for now, it's just for fun. Uh, I only did it so that people could watch something if they wanted to or they had any quanshim, but quanshim opsum. Everybody, I just want to say thank you. Good luck with your life and, you know, this semester if you're a student. Just try your best at everything you do. And I want to say thank you. So, freebies and anybody else who's here, thank you so much for watching. Kitty's couple here and my extra kitty, as I say, my gifts that were given to me. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you later. Bowie!